Hi, my name's Larry Kegwin, and I'm currently the artistic director of Kegwin & Company, a dance company in New York City. But way before that, I was a child on Long Island in the small town of Wading River in Eastern Long Island. And then I went to college right here at Hofstra University. And I came between 1990 and I graduated in 94. The minute I walked into this dance studio, all those memories came flooding back. And just incredible memories, incredible camaraderie, lots of laughter, and um, I really feel like I, I learned so much here. I was a sponge in the dance program. So the reason I keep coming back is because I love it, because I love coming back to my roots. Um, I have such fond memories of being here, being in this dance studio, that uh, it's a great joy to come back. Yeah, I was like the gotta dance kid. I was the kid at five years old dancing on the front lawn for passing cars. You know, I was definitely, um, I knew from an early age that I wanted to perform and that I, um, I had a gift of dance. Larry is so fun and um, creative and just really professional and successful, so it's awesome to work with him and also the fact that he was a Hofstra alum like gave, gave me so much school pride um, and he's like super famous in the dance world so it was kind of like having a celebrity. I started creating my own work, I started assisting with the Radio City Rockettes, I started dancing on Broadway, um, fast forward a couple more years I formed my own dance company just because I wanted to put on a show and I had enough dances to do that and so I've had a dance company for about 15 years, and we've also traveled the world, most recently a month in Africa, and um, we perform regularly throughout the U.S. A couple of years ago, I choreographed um, Off-Broadway uh, Rent, the musical Rent that was Off-Broadway, and then I choreographed If Then, which was a musical starring Adina Menzel. <laughs> You know, I, I, I guide students through my own experience. You know, it's the, it's the experience I know, while also trying to encourage them to think outside the box, think outside of what my experience was, but what is it that they want to do. Mapping for two eights, I'll hold for four, and then let me just see, one, two, three, like, yep, that's happening. I just um, felt like it was a different sort of environment. It didn't really feel like college anymore. It felt more like you we were thrust into the professional world. Larry often made references to when he was at Hofstra that sort of connected with the students. Well, we were in the studio in the communications school building, and of course that studio has been around for a bit, so he was already in his element, sort of a part of his past in there, and he often made reference to um, one of our professors, Robin, who's been teaching here for uh, quite a long time. No one could forget having worked with Larry, because he leaves quite an impression. And I had the great joy of working with Larry for four years. I always used to make a joke that I didn't know how Larry made it to his academic classes, because he used to be in every single dance class. Any level, he was passionate to learn and grow. The dance that I'm currently making for Hofstra uh, Dance Department is titled The Hunt. And I've always had this fascination between animal behavior and human behavior, and where they intersect, how they are different, how they're similar. And so this really is a, is a quick, athletic, I hope electrifying, uh, very physical dance that really takes a look at, at how we are similar and different. I really feel like dance has a tremendous gift to not only be um, an avenue for exercise, but for thinking, for sharing, for community building, for bonding experiences. I think that dance is a really powerful um, tool for communicating, and um, I think it can be diplomatic. I think it can be um, just an incredible art form to um, bring communities together.